Okay. Question number eight. We've got a quite a complicated looking formula here, which means what the formula is a and is equal to a quarter of x times y. A quarter, so once we times x and y together and divide the answer by four, we get the answer a. Now, we're also told some other piece of information which says that, that when you add x and y up, they're less than 20. So let's think of this, okay? Well, if a is 15, then we've got to do 15 times by 4 to get 60. So we know that x and y, x times y, it's got to equal 60, because that's what x, y means. And x plus y has got to be less than 20. So we need to find all the different numbers that multiply to make 60. Okay, so I could have 1 times 60. I could have 2 times 30. I could have 3 times 20, I could have 4 times 15, I could have 6 times 10, I could have, oh I forgot 5, 5 times 12, and um, there are all the ones that I can think of. So I need to pick out of these ones, I need to find out the ones that all these multiply to make 60, but not all of them, when you add them up, are less than 20. So we can't have that, and we can't have that, and we can't have that. So we're going to have these two. So basically, if x is 4, y has got to be 15. That works. Because they add up to 19. It could have x is 10, y is 6. Or I could have, if x is 5, y could be 12. I could have any of those. In fact, I don't really need this one on the end. I was just showing you that we could include it. I need to include any of these. So we need to interpret this formula really. It's a bit tricky. So go back over it and check the understand why I've used 60 and how I've come to the answer where I cross these three options out, even though they multiply to make 60, I don't want those options.